Today, we're taking a look at all of Macaw's decorative mods, and what better way to show them off than to take a vanilla house from Planet Minecraft and take just a couple of minutes to overhaul it with some of these decorations. You can see here in these before shots, it is an absolutely beautiful house. And when in the prairie biome from Oh The Biomes You'll Go, it just looks stunning anyway. The first of my modifications was renovating the outside with some of the black stone metal fences, the stone diamond pavers, and a little bit of lighting. I also switched the windows over these fancy windows that can open and close and use the included shutters as well. The standard oak trap doors fit the pattern for these garden boxes, but not the color, so I swapped them for dark oak. A considerable change was swapping the roof over to the macaw's black brick roof, but I found it was well accompanied by the standard deep slate brick stairs on the end that were included in this build. On the exterior, I even added a little graveyard just to finish things off. On the inside, I added a lovely kitchen and dining room using the furniture additions. Off to the side, there's the enchanting room that I spiced things up in with the stained glass and some soul lanterns. Heading upstairs, we have a bedroom with a desk and a bookshelf and a little wardrobe off to the side and once again those fancy windows that can be opened and closed. Moving to the attic, we have another desk with a little storage and a little lantern there as the light is reduced from these wood blinds that can be opened and closed. Now is the part where I like to show off everything in a flat world, but for this pack it's so hard as there are just so many varieties of each object for every type of wood, stone, and wool color. It would take days for me to place every item added by this mod, so I'll show the variations in each type, but not every color for them. Starting off with Macaw's lights and lamps, we have these desk lamps in every color of wool, and then next to that we have tiki torches both in standard and soul flames for every wood variant. In a similar style of the desk lamp, there are these ceiling lanterns that are also wool colored. Next we have miscellaneous lanterns such as the street lamp, lava lamp, garden light, paper light, and even wall mounted wool light. Here are some variants for the standard Minecraft lamp to add some extra flare, and then finally we have some extra torches and half slabs for existing lights. Moving to the Macaws Bridges mod, there are so many variants for these for each type of wood and stone, but here I have just the oak. There are some neat stairs, and leading up to them, I have a suspended rope bridge like the one from Shrek. Shrek! I'm looking down! And a more sturdy looking bridge that also has some support. I also have a brick bridge with a gravel floor and finally a oak bridge designed for railways. Now for the fences and walls mod, I show the different types of wood available for the first type. Each wood fence will also have these for their respective styles. All these styles allow you to have some picket fences, barn, or even razor wire for a warfare type setting. They also include some excellent gate options and I'm a massive fan of these stone walls, especially the nether brick one. McCall's trap doors are huge to bridge the gap between all of the vanilla styles of trapdoor and their respective colors. If you want a style of dark oak trapdoor but with the birch colors, you can have that now. Each style shown once again comes in every style of wood and McCall even adds some new styles here for you to choose from. Macaw's windows are pleasant and straightforward. We have the first one which expands as you place more, then two types that open like doors. We have these stone windows that you can add bars to when you right click on them. Also some interesting arrow slit walls for any of your future castles. Next the blinds and shutters we showed in the house build. New to this batch though are the curtains that you can right click to change their pattern on. Finally a vast stained glass collection with some fancy patterns for any mosaics that you could want to build. Or if you're feeling spicy there's this one way glass if you need to interrogate someone. McCall's furniture adds tons of cabinets, desks, tables, chairs, and wardrobes in every flavor of wood with most of the cabinets having storage space of a barrel or single chest. This could be a fun way to add storage to your kitchen for cooking or your bedrooms for extra clothes. Next up are Macaw's paths and pavings with only the one simple wood option which is available on every type of wood, but the stone options are excellent. I use the blackstone diamond pavers in the house build and it makes for a great way to highlight your walking paths. Now Macaw's doors are similar to the trap doors in that they aim to bring every existing style to all the colors of wood while adding some new doors like the sliding Asian door. I really like these Wild West saloon doors personally and there are some excellent new metal doors that require redstone open as well as these fancy garage doors if you have any mods that might add vehicles. Also acting like the garage doors are this portcullis for your castle. Finally, we have the Macaw roof tiles for all types of wood, stone, and I believe wool. They have full step and half step options to suit any type of roof that you could be designing. This variety really helped on the whole house build. That's all there are for the base Macaw decorative mods. Let us know which mods you like to see in the next mod spotlight, and as always, thank you so much for watching.